Welcome everyone to another episode of StarMate. Today is a special episode, also probably a rather short and tutorialized one because I um, want to create my own StarMate skin today. And I thought instead of just doing that off camera I want to share the process with you because I think a lot of you probably don't know how to do it yet. It is not really hard to do, though StarMate skins are a lot more HD, therefore you can make a lot more detail than you could do in Minecraft. Additionally, there are also emission maps which you can apply to your skins and make them actually glow, or rather part of it, to make it look all spacey and futuristic. So that's going to be exciting. So now the first thing we want to do is actually search for the correct files, and you would go about to do that by having a look into your StarMate folder, Data and Skinning Resources, where you will find this player texture template. On here you will see all the different parts which are usually applied to a skin and therefore you will have it much easier to create your own custom one also right from the scratch. Of course you can also take the original skin and just make a few alterations to it. I also recommend you to go ahead into your data, textures and skins folder where you can find the typical skin setup which you will need to have a complete skin. You can see this texture is basically the filled out version of the one that we had right here, the player texture template. And it also has an emission map, you can see a bunch of those strips are actually lit up on this skin. The two other files you are going to need are for the player helmet and also the emission map for that. So I recommend you to actually go ahead and save those files. For your first skin it's probably easier just to alter a few things on the default skin. But nevertheless these are the two folders that you are probably interested in before going ahead and starting up any image editing software. I recommend you to use GIMP2 which is a free tool and if you have the money for it then of course Photoshop will be the thing to go for. But nevertheless I'm gonna show you the template file and the default skin in a large and as you can see it is clearly written on each individual slot what it actually is. You can always have a look at the default skin if you are getting confused somehow. But yeah I think what we're now gonna do is open up GIMP and make a few adjustments ourselves, check it out in the game and just see with what we can come up with today.
Okay guys, I'm really not so good at this, uh, which is why I haven't created a skin from scratch. If you are interested to actually create a skin for me, which I will be using in the Let's Play series, then you're more than welcome to go ahead and send me your suggestions. But other than that, I'm glad enough we have found out what we actually require. So what I have created is a skin file for my character, as you can see here, as well as a emission map, which shows everything that should be actually glowing. And now that I'm thinking about it, the emission map probably should be white, yeah. So that's something I will have to fix yet. So everything normal you want black and everything that is glowing you want white. But nevertheless, once you have these four files, you want to open up your StarMade launcher and you want to go into the modding section up here and create a custom skin. Once you have pressed that, you will be prompted to upload four files, one main skin texture with the emission map as well as the helmet skin and the helmet emission map. Once you have done that, you can hit OK and confirm that you want to use set skin. So that's all we had to do, now it's time to check it out in-game. Well guys, so here we are in-game, let's shift zoom out a little bit and check our guy out. We can already see that it's definitely worked, I have all the stripes that I added, the glowing ones on the back. Also I do have a little smiley face, which is great and I believe we also do have blue eyes. Let's actually get into the sun a little bit to check it out a little bit more. And yes indeed, we do have blue eyes. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, that's basically all we had to do. Unfortunately, I'm really not good with graphics. I wish I was a lot better to be able to create an awesomely cool skin. Possibly even one which combines with the helmet in some way, but you know, you can't have everything. Alright guys, I think with that I will actually wrap up this segment and make an episode out of it. I think this video might be useful for the one or other person which wants to look that up. Also, I'm already in the production of a next episode, so hopefully it will not take too long until the next episode. But I thought it could not hurt to get this video out, since I wanted to find out how to do it and change my skin anyways. I hope that maybe some of you are eager enough to see their skin in my Let's Play, then just keep them coming. I'm really curious what is actually possible with so much more quality than you can have in Minecraft. So that should be cool. But yeah, thank you for watching, have a great time and see ya soon. Bye bye.